What is a network switch, what it does and what types of network switches are there? A network switch is a key device in a computer network that connects multiple devices such as computers, printers and servers allowing them to communicate and share data efficiently. Unlike the hub which we discussed previously, which sends data to all connected devices, a switch intelligently directs data only to the devices it is intended for, making the network faster and more efficient. Here is how it works in more detail. Switch functionality. A switch operates at the data link layer, layer 2 of the OSI model, meaning it manages how data is transferred between devices when data in form of packets arrives at one of its ports, the switch reads the destination address, specifically the MAC address of the device, and forwards it only to the port where the destination device is connected. This reduces unnecessary traffic and improves the performance of the network by ensuring that data only reaches the intended recipient. Ports and connections. A typical switch has multiple RJ45 ports, so these are physical ports, not those ports ports which we were discussing when we were talking about networking ports. Switch uses a multiple RJ45 ports which are used to connect devices using Ethernet cables. For example, desktops, servers and printers in an office environment will each have a cable connected to one of the ports on the switch. These connections allow the devices to communicate with one another as well as with the broader network like the internet through other networking devices such as routers, which we will be discussing in future lessons. And here is the real world example. And let's say we are talking about office building scenario. In an office building, let's say there are 50 desktops, each connected to a patch panel. The patch panel is then connected to a switch via patch cords. The network switch is what makes the network run smoothly by ensuring that when someone on desktop 1 sends an email or access a file on a company server, the data goes directly from desktop 1 to the server, rather than being broadcasted to every device on the network network like in hubs scenario. The switch keeps track of which devices is connected to which ports by learning the MAC addresses of all connected devices. This learning process helps the switch know exactly where to send data. If desktop 1 wants to communicate with desktop 2, the switch knows to forward the data only between these two desktops rather than flooding the network and sending data to all connected devices. Additionally, if a new device like a network printer is added, the administrator simply connects the printer to an available port on the switch, the switch will recognize the new device and integrate into the network without requiring complex configurations. And here are two types of switches, unmanaged switches and managed switches. An unmanaged switch is a simple plug and play device that doesn't require configuration. You just connect it to a network and it automatically enables devices to communicate. It has a basic functionality which makes makes it suitable for small networks like home or office setups. Ease of use. No configuration is needed for unmanaged switches. Just plug in your device and it works. Use cases of unmanaged switches. Unmanaged switches are typically used in smaller, less complex networks where there is no need for advanced control over network traffic or security. For example, a small office with a handful of devices would benefit from this. And limitations of unmanaged switches are that they have a limited control over network traffic, no monitoring features and no security configurations. And now let's discuss managed switches. A managed switch offers advanced features that allow network administrators to control, configure and monitor network traffic in detail. Managed switches are used in larger and more complex networks where more control and oversight are needed. And control and configuration of managed switches. Managed switches provide options for configuring VLANs or virtual local area networks which help segment network traffic for better performance and security. Security. They also support quality of service or QoS settings which prioritize certain types of network traffic such as video conferencing or voice calls to ensure they perform well under heavy network load. Monitoring and security. Managed switches allow for detailed monitoring of network traffic and can detect and prevent issues like traffic bottlenecks or security threats. They often support advanced security features like port security 
and SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol for remote monitoring and troubleshooting. Use cases of managed switches. Managed switches are commonly used in large offices, data centers or enterprises where traffic control, security and performance are crucial. For example, a managed switch could be used in a large office building to separate the traffic between departments or prioritize critical business applications. In summary, unmanaged switches are ideal for small, straightforward networks where minimal setup and maintenance are required, where managed switches provide provide more control, security and scalability, making them suitable for larger or complex networks where performance and detailed management are important.